In the first quarter of FY23, the earnings of nifty companies and the corporate world remained below expectations. Inflation has impacted the balance sheet of companies. Due to high input costs, operating margins and profit growth of the corporate world were the lowest since September 2020. However, higher input costs were passed on to consumers. Therefore, companies' earnings growth was strong. Giants of Nifty like RIL, Tata Motors, BPCL, SBI, HDFC Limited performed below expectations. 47% of the companies performed better than expectations while 32% were worse. On the other hand, 21% of companies was in line with expectations. Just like the fourth quarter of the last fiscal year, even in the first quarter, due to low credit cost, the results of BFSI companies improved and they contributed the most in earnings growth. Banking and financial sector companies contributed 99% in profit growth, while in total profit, banking and financial sector companies accounted for one-third of the share. Profits of the oil and gas sector declined Pressure on profits of the oil and gas sector contributed the most to the poor quarterly results of the corporate world. Due to under-recovery in petrol diesel, loss for OMCs put pressure on profits of oil and gas companies. Due to all of this, operating margins and profit growth remained the lowest since September 2020. High energy cost and commodity prices put pressure on margins of almost all the sectors. Operating margins of corporates declined 4.9% to come at 14.2% while expectations were 14.4%. Out of 20 sectors, results for the companies of 14 sectors were either in line or better than expectations. Results of consumer, metal and cement sector were better than expected, while for oil and gas it was poor. Year-on-year -year profit of metal, healthcare and cement companies declined, while that of IT companies remained flat. Almost all the sectors were under pressure due to higher commodity and energy cost. Out of 14 major sectors, operating margins of 11 declined. Operating margins for cement, oil gas, metals, auto, specialty chemicals, IT companies fell by more than 2.5%. In the first quarter, the profit of Nifty 50 companies increased by 23% year-on-year. Out of 50, 11 companies recorded losses. If we exclude those 11 companies, the Nifty company's profits increased 31% year-on-year, while expectations were 34%. Tata Motors BPCL witnessed losses. 42% of the Nifty companies performed above expectations. 34% of companies performed worse and 24% performed in line with expectations. In light of the results, brokerages have started changing their views. After the results of the first quarter, the number of downgrades and upgrades of companies is almost equal. Post results, the profit growth of 78 companies was 3% more than estimated while for 79 companies, profit growth was 3% below estimate. For 11 companies in the Nifty Pack, profit growth estimate of FY23 has been increased by 5%, while for 9 companies, profit growth estimate of FY23 has been reduced by more than 5%. The biggest downgrades were seen in RIL, ONGC, BPCL and Tata Motors. Due to festive demand, increase in consumption and fall in commodity prices, analysts believe that from the third quarter of FY23, the quarterly results of Indian corporates may start to improve. Hence, companies' profits may remain under pressure for one more quarter.